We seem to be hearing some form of otter news every other week nowadays. From crossing the road, to turf wars, to even eating all the fishes from a church. Today, we otter find out how much trouble these little things are actually causing. Good morning. Man, why are we doing so early here in the morning? We are finding the elusive, the amazing. Do you know where to find them? No, they are like everywhere and nowhere at the same time. Huh? Then where are we going to find them? Well, there are a few groups that consist of otter photographers and otter experts and they will be following the otter families almost on a daily basis. So today, we're going to have an autographer on board to join us on this otter defunding. Hi, Bernard! Hey, MJ. Good morning. I'm utterly excited to meet you! Pleasure's all mine. I've been looking for otters for the last hour or so. Oh, okay. Have you found And me? I cannot find an otter. And you know how we always read on social media that otters are everywhere. Yeah. They're about to conquer the world. Uh -huh. You know, they're going to knock on your door and come uh -huh. and, and, and okay. eat your, your fish, you know. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, for the last one hour, I've been looking for otters and I cannot find them. Come join me here. Yes, 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 yes. Join me here. Here we go. Hey, what's that? That's one snowflake. Eh? What's that's, that fingernail? Eh? That's two snowflakes. Oh, wow. Now those are fish scales. Oh! Yes, and oh. it's fish scales that has been processed through the gut of an otter. And the poop? They ask you yes. how you are. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get it. Ah, but it's okay. Oh, yes. So what I do is I look for fresh sprint like this, which mm -hmm. is fairly fresh. The moment I find fresh paint, then I know I'm hotter on the trail. I just received word that I know where the famous Zook family is. <gasps> Shall we go check out this family? Oh my god! Yes, 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 yes. let's go, let's go! Come, let's go! The Zook family was spotted headed towards, of all places, Clark Key. We definitely weren't able to cycle there in time, so we had to take a cab. However... Ah, they reached already ah. Oh no, they're not ah. <laughs> they, they already reached Clark Key, so we're just gonna go there and then we will cycle to Boat Key. Woof! What an adventure! Dum, 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 the back of the hometown. Dum, 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 ready for it. So, MJ, say hello to the Zook family. Spew. I, I guess uh, Spew. the general term is vocalization. So they vocalize with squeaks, sometimes grunts, sometimes they growl, oh. Uh, oh. sometimes they scream. Yeah. So very, very uh, wide range of tones that they use. Sometimes I mistake their call for like specific swallows or like even some birds. Yeah. Oh, it, it does sound a bit like Yeah, 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 yeah. they chirp like, sometimes also. And then you just get tricked because it was just a bird. Yeah. Unlike most other otter families, the Zook family doesn't have a big water body to call home. So they travel all over central Singapore to find food and shelter. These guys, yes, they're a little bit more nomadic, they're more unpredictable. I mean, like last week, they ended up in the science faculty of the National University of Singapore. They yes. were on the news for TTSH and uh, KK Hospital. KK Hospital yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. They're crossing the road in front of Istana. They were spotted cutting through the Shell petrol station at Newton as well. Oh. So just to name a few, it's always this one family. Yeah. Any idea how long can the author hold his breath? <gasps> that probably knows. Um, um, 30 minutes? No, less. Oh, less ah, less. Yeah, about 7-8 minutes. The yeah, dexterous pause, right? Like, Extremely. So it's, it's like, like it's sometimes when you time. have a, a close-up shot of them, mm. you see how they're holding things. And have you ever seen viral videos of other species of otters like tossing things and, and ah, like you know ah, yeah. and they, or they open up clans yes, like they, super they, nimble and... they do that too the otter's diet consists mainly of fish in fact up to 90% of the time although they also eat other animals such as shellfish and even frogs which is also the reason why you normally find them in long tongues and big areas like this where there's a lot of tilapias big fish for them to eat so they eat like that and they make this kind of noise yeah. 
I will guarantee you're gonna see them poop at the next location, at the next bridge. Let's go, let's go! Yay! It's exciting! We have more snowflakes here. Oh, there's a lot! Okay. This one is one of those where if I feel like it, I might. <laughs> yeah. They don't visit every spot every time, but mm -hmm. as long as you check all these spots. Yeah. There's a chance, right? Yes. Let's hope for direction. the best and see if they come out. There's one halfway up the steps. Here we go. Smooth-coated otters are semi-aquatic mammals and unlike the sea lions whereby they stumble on land and are mainly aquatic, these otters are equally comfortable in the water and on land. So you can see the paw, you can see the oh, claws. Yeah. It's a paw! Oh, paw. Sometimes when they go up this drain, they end up in the <laughs> Labrador Pasir Panjang area. Oh, wow. Yeah. Don't turn left, don't turn left. Okay, yes. good news, they're going up. Okay, yes, yes. Yay! There was one period of time where all family members would only sprain in this area. Wow, can you yes. make it every morning? You gotta and then clean. They'll come up here and then walk by the, by the ledge. Okay, okay, okay. So what are you gonna do? Talk about why they roll and dry off down here? Yeah, good. would it? Very often, you see the otters rolling around on the sand and they do that because they want to align their fur to trap air better. Oh, look at those little otters watching themselves! So you can either do it on the sand, on the grass, that's for the same purpose of realigning the fur. These otters are known as the Zook otters because they were first spotted at where the old Zook used to be, aka Chakim Street. Dum, 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 dum. So otter families are usually named from where they were first spotted at. Bishop family were first spotted at Bisham Amkyo Park, while the Marina family were first spotted at Marina Bay area. They left. <laughs> official count in 2017, that was the last official count we did. Um, 11 families and 11? 70 over otters. I oh. think by now, the numbers have grown a little bit. I um, guess we need to wait for our next official count to be announced uh, soon. Oh, okay. Mm. Our native otters disappeared from our island 50 years ago because we polluted our rivers. And now they are back because we decided to clean our rivers. So it's very interesting to see how various issues have evolved from the past and how our views have evolved as well. Personally, I think that no one is right and no one is wrong and everyone's opinion matters. But I also believe that we can find a common ground to coexist with these beautiful creatures and hope that everyone will welcome them back to where they belong in the first place. Thank you, Bernard, for letting us join you on this amazing and utterly fun journey where I get to experience a day in the author's life. You're most welcome. Okay, so last thoughts is that if you are going to be looking for otters and when I say you, it can be anyone keep your distance, keep your volume down very importantly, when you see people going close to the otters it doesn't mean you must join them observe, give them res a respectful distance because you never know whether this particular family you're following is more or less tolerant mm -hmm. of humans so just to be safe, if you're not sure which family they are or how comfortable they are with humans, always play safe, stand back. Otters are, after all, still wild animals, so it's important to give them their space. That's all for today. Just, just keep, keep thinking. thinking. In 2011, I bought my first long lens. Mm. So with a long lens, it gives me more reach. So I thought, wildlife, right? Mm -hmm. So. One of the first animals to mine was, I want to shoot otters in Singapore. I looked for almost one year before I found my first otter. After about a year of visiting Pasir Ris, mm -hmm. I had almost given up. So I was actually shooting a stock-billed kingfisher oh. at the mangrove area. So I was happy shooting. And then... Oh. And then what happened was, we had a lot of noise in the background. So like, what's going on, what's going on? So I so there were kids screaming because there was an otter oh. in the in the canal behind me oh. chomping a fish. So that's how I chanced upon my first otter. Oh my goodness. And, and, this, catch. and this was September 11, 2012. Mm. So I, I think that's uh, how it started then and where it's led me to today. Oh. Mm. 
what's one of the negative misconception that people have about otters that you like to address? Is how people think they're just like, you know, otters everywhere in Singapore. I bet if I if I challenge someone to go find an otter for me, um, I don't think that person will find mm -hmm. an otter as easily as he or she thinks. Uh, the other one, which it's not so much an annoyance, but it's good to educate people, mm -hmm. is that a single otter, a lone otter, is a common thing. It's a natural process that an otter will go through. Mm -hmm. The only reason why maybe we don't see lone otters or notice them so much is that being alone, they don't need to vocalize. They mm -hmm. don't need to communicate with a partner, mm -hmm. right? So they travel alone, they travel quietly. So they are always below our radar mm -hmm. or under the radar, right? So the thing is, when we finally see a lone otter, it's like, something is wrong, something is wrong. Yeah, I, I guess having said that, mm. if you see an otter that's dragging its foot or, oh. or limping badly, a lone otter, then react. Oh, that one's okay. Yeah, you know, yeah. Got it, got it. Mm. What's the most heartwarming or positive, amazing thing that you have seen, you know, while following the otter's journey for so long? I think when there's a uni, was a union. Mm -hmm. Alright, so sometimes when there is a separation of family members and when the moment they discover each other, it's always very heartwarming. You know, that that author is that lone author that has separated. Mm -hmm. Like this family, for example, about two weeks ago, mm -hmm. um, one member came back and he was so confident it was his family. He was just swim it was just swimming towards the family, vocalizing. Uh. To me, it's like, are you sure this is your family or not? You know? But I guess there is a way that they recognize each mm -hmm. other's calls, right? So it, it swam to them, vocalizing. The family turned around and actually swam to it. Some of them charged it, but when they got to it, it became like, oh, welcome back. You know, you could, you could see them sniffing oh, that lone otter okay. and actually, um, pull yeah, like like pulling around <laughs> the water, you know, and uh, bonding started right, right there. Oh. So yeah, whenever there's a reunion, it's mm. always very heartwarming. Oh, it's so sweet. We managed to capture, capture the reunions. Yes. Cue music and filter and heart shape, confetti. Fireworks and then curtains close. <gasps>